and welcome back for Pokemon Neo X Randomizer Nuzlocke. I am not doing a team recap because if you guys did miss the last episode, make sure you go check it out. It's on Tuesday. You missed it. Come. There's a link in the description to the playlist. Um, I know in the past it was broken. It's fixed now. I'm actually going to heal though because... Oh, I already healed. Did no one take damage? There's... There you go. That's what you got. So I'm actually going to look through this. Congratulations. I think I used one Thunderbolt. One strength, a, one superpower, three or four earthquakes on you. Ooh. Wait, should I? Nah, we're fine for that. Uh, I'm just thinking about my team choices for this match because it will be a little bit more of a challenge. Okay. I think I've got the answers for this. We've got a sturdy Skarmory leading us off. If you guys have missed the last episode, it was a lot of fun, actually. We did pretty well. I feel like this is the area where we start to take some losses. Knock on wood, because I don't want to. However, it might be a thing that's going to happen, which is fine. Yo, it's like Sword and Shield was chosen before the, well, like years ago. Here's my question: these in these like situations, do people just like stand there waiting for kids to enter and be like, "Okay, now I'm gonna do my rant." Well met, young challenger. Verily, I am the lead force, famed blade of hardened steel, Wickstrom. With my magnificent Pokemon at my side, I will reveal the scope of trainer achievement. Let us both give a word that our contest shall be fair and honorable. Ready? On guard! I actually think... I'm thinking about the next one, because this one does concern me, but I'm not too worried worried. Because, like, I've got answers. Whereas, like... Whereas, when I look at this man's team... When I look at the dragon team, it's like, ooh, okay, that's a little scary. I'm gonna Thunderbolt right off the bat. Bro, I forgot how fast the this is. Paralyze? No. Oh, no. Okay, I have no Pokemon. I was gonna... I have a fairy type that's flying type. That's the only thing, so I was never gonna switch into it. Should I just go Thunder? Nah, it's a waste. It'll be a waste of a turn. Well, let him keep his sturdy. Hey, if he uses both his full restores today, right here, I'm not mad. Just gonna say that. One more. Yeah, okay, so. What's he gonna send out next? What has an earth what has an earthquake? Oh, I forgot he has an Aegis Slash. Jesus Christ. I need to let the thing not being wait a turn after using King's Shield. Okay, so I'm gonna Pokemon. Which Pokemon is he gonna send in? Something with physical moves. Age Slash. Which I actually have answers to. I think it's Swords Dance. I think I just sit there and Swords Dance. So as soon as I do that, I can kind of just start knocking out his team. I know I've been doing that a lot. I'm going to scroll this up a little bit so it's not like I'm down. Now, I'm going to Swords Dance right now and expect like a King Shield or something to come out. Basically, King Shield is the biggest nuisance in the world, and now I'm gonna get to get it used against me. I didn't heal up T. Oh, no, Stealth Rocks are fine. I was supposed to be like. Oh, dope, okay. We're fine. The thing about it is, King Shield is technically priority. Do it again. Oh, I was really hoping you use Status Link. Oh my god! I didn't know that it was gonna do that much. Jesus. Okay, I expect Empoleon to come out now. I'm really expecting Empoleon to come out. Which is kind of scary because Ice Beam probably will one-shot me. Like, very high chance it'll one-shot me. So I'm going to switch back to Raw. Because Raw's kind of the carry at this point. For this, for the water types. But he's been really useful to me. She's been really useful to me. I can't remember gender, but it's fine. We don't discriminate. Damn, the Stealth Rush suck. I was debating whether or not an earthquake would kill it, but like, I want to chance thunder, but thunder is like what? 70 accuracy? Uh-uh. 
Dude, it was raining. I could have put thunder and that would have like 100% hit. Why didn't I think of that? Oh. Okay, Metagross or Sizzle. Logically, you switch to Metagross because it has an assault, assault vest, I guess. So. I mean, I Earthquake both of them, they die. Basically. But I think logically you'd send in Metagross because he does have an assault vest. He sends in Scizor. Okay. That doesn't concern me too, too much. I should say too many drops. This is why I need to. I'm gonna need to ether up between videos or episodes. Not episodes between battles because I need to get this. Ah! Nope. I'm gonna secure our win by doing another one. Boom. See, this is when you should have saved. This is when you should have saved your intimidating Polion because now I can just basically destroy everything with Earthquake. Hey, this is my win con, basically. In order for me to win this game, I need to basically set up on everyone. Because they're IV EV trained Pokemon. Unless you have type matchups, which for some of them I don't. Like, the next one scares me because of that. Eh, it's probably going to save me PP, so I might as well do that. It's not stab, but I'm plus four. Boom. That's a win. This is another win. It took about, what, five minutes? Damn. Because I believe the champion's like level 95. Nope, she's high 80s, so we will be 10 levels above. This is terrible. Technically, the very interesting thing about this one is the Nuzlocke doesn't end after we beat the champion. There's one more battle with, what's his name? Tallman! Which is gonna suck because I don't know his levels. Is he here on this list? AZ. Or AZ. It's a rotation battle. That's not terrible. Now that I look at it. But he doesn't make a Kangaskhan, which we all know is a little too strong. Glorious, the trust you share with your honorable Pokemon surpasses even mine. Mm hmm. Ha <laughs> ha. What now? What sweet glorious pain and joy now rock my mighty heart? My will, which shall. Which even Shakespeare. I hate that. It's a William Shakespeare. Unless it's a thing that they didn't intend. That's a Shakespeare reference. Reference, joke, whatever you want to call it. Tremble that so fine a battle as this. I am undone. Good sir, you are indeed our equal. Unworthy to share this lofty hall. Is your heart prepared for this? One last wall remains before you. You would do well to remember. Defeat us and then you will face a champion in battle. That will be the... That will be in Monday's episode. Which Monday might be the finale. Now I have to heal. And use all kinds of... I should toss all my rare candies because... I'm not going to use them. Dude, we're all level 96. This card... All of them. Psh, I just threw away nine, uh, 300 rare candies. All moves, a single move. Okay, I thought I had more. 10 PP. That's all I want. And we're literally only using it on, on this boy. I think he's the only one that actually has moves that I need to replenish. Everyone else have kind of spread out. I haven't used Frozone yet. Frozone's like my trump card in the back. Okay, um, you're fine for PP. Thunderbolt's getting there but it's not terrible you're fine i haven't touched you yet okay you were the only one i had to do that with you're fine i'm not gonna use you in this battle i don't think actually i'll use dragon pulse probably so that'll be fun and you're fine okay dope i think harmony will be a nice shout for this large part of this match this final match have i healed everyone i'm so Anal about this. I'm so scared. So I'm gonna use Geico and I'm gonna use Dragon Pulse like immediately on this Kingdra. Because if I can start damaging it before I get the focus energy off, we'll be fine. If we get the focus energy off, we're gonna be problems because it's got double damage Draco Meteor. Remember, only Sun and Moon. That's the only game where they actually fix that, where it's only half times fat, it's 50% more damage. But right now, it's 
200% damage, which is two times the normal damage. I just mixed up two different math terms. I just did 50% added on, and then I just multiply it by 200%, which is two times. Whatever. It's the only thing I'm good at in math is percentages. Whatever. Whatever, man. By the way, but the whole Shakespeare thing, I didn't think I was going to do Shakespeare again. I'm 18. I don't, I don't do English anymore. Oh my goodness, hello to you. Welcome, welcome, come in. You must be a strong trainer. Yes, quite strong indeed. That is wonderful news. Face components like you and your team will make my Pokemon grow like weeds. Are you? You wanna fight? Drasna? How do I lose Kingdra, by the way? I don't remember how I lost Kingdra. I was under level, probably. I think that's the way these battle, these um, games kind of work, is you're, you're either over leveled, and you kind of do a bunch of damage, or you're underleveled and you get destroyed. That did half. Ha <laughs> ha! That's gonna hurt a lot if not kill. Some frail tech. I'm gonna go piece of paper. Okay, I'm gonna heal now because. Oh, yo, that's the strat. I just understood what she's doing. If she has scope lens. Focus energy, sniper. What's gonna happen is she's gonna be able to hit, click Draco meter every single time, and it will crit, and the attack reduction won't matter. That's so smart, but you're dead anyways. Okay, literally either of her flying types can come out. But I really think it's gonna be Noivern with a flying gem, which is kind of scary. So we're gonna switch Pokemon to Harmon. Nope. How much, would, how much do I think? How much do I really think a Dragon type move is going to do to the Probably a really high amount. How fast is Kiram? I know Kiram's like a little faster than you expect, but I don't think he's Noivern fast. Like, Noivern has like base speed of stupid. No, I don't want the Pokemon one. It doesn't tell me the actual numbers. It just says it's really fast. Come on. 123. There's no way Kirim is faster than that. He might be a legendary, but he's not that fast. By the way, I want you guys to know when I got Kirim. 95. Yeah. Um, let's do a damage cap then. Because this could get really bad. So what am I concerned about? Dragon Pulse, more or less. So let's get a Noivern here. Blank set, and it's level 95, 85, right? Yeah. Level 85. Its ability is, um, I'm sure I'll make sure I can actually switch seats because I use my numpad. And I usually use that during stream. And let's say it's got a flying gem. And the move I'm concerned about is Dragon Pulse. And it's also got Air Slash. Right? That's the moves that it has. Yeah. Those are the two moves I'm kind of concerned about. And I'm a Kirim. Just normal Kirim. Level 95. And I'm going to use Dragon Pulse. Ice Beam. And I have an ice plate, ice cold plate. Okay, so Dragon Pulse actually doesn't have a chance to kill at all. I am betting on this. Either the flying types Kiram answers. That's basically what I've determined. If it's Tyrantrum, also. Ice Beam, gone. Oh! I didn't think about that one. Jesus, power gems can suck. I'm pretty sure Dragon Pulse will kill this thing, though. I am a Kiram. This is the first time using it. Oh, no! No! Oh, no! That's gonna kill, isn't it? Oh, 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 no! Oh, no! I'm gonna do it one more time, because I doubt she'll... She healed! Damn! Bitch, what the fuck? I think this thing dies, because that was either a low roll or a high roll. I can't tell which one it is. It was a high roll. Oh, it was a low roll, sorry. 
I am going to full restore because if it decides to attack me again, it will die 100%. Now the problem is I am not no longer at full health. So this Noivern is an issue. If this thing crits me right now, I'm going to be fuming. Oh, okay, good. So what's, what comes next? Tyrantrum, like almost 100%. So I think what's going to happen is I'm going to switch now into Teeths because I can deal with this thing. I'm kind of concerned about the possibility of an Altaria coming out because that will also be a bit of a scare, but I'm fine because I can deal with Tyrantra. I'm going to, I'm going to Mega Evolve and Swords Dance because I want to just I don't care if I'm wasting a turn. I would like to heal up Kiram because it's basically how I beat this Noivern. Things got super fanged. So by the way, developer of this game, you did a great job, but why the stupid shit with these Noiverns, man? Okay, this crunch. You gotta reduce attack. I don't think it'll do a lot. Damn! That's it. absolutely nothing. Okay. Full store. I basically just let the Kiram, the High Dragon, implode. I forgot High Dragon had Flamethrower, so it's actually a safer bet than going to either the Flying type. I don't understand. And there's a defense drop. Okay, bye bye, you're done. You don't get to touch my defense like that, Tyrantrum. That's just disrespectful. I was gonna say, if it lived after plus two, you deserve to win just from that. Okay. Oh, wait, this Guard Drop has. This Mega Guard Drop has Stone Edge. No. Not good at all. Noivern or Altaria? Altaria. I answer for both of them. I can answer for both of them with uh, with my with harmony. So, but like, I had a feeling it was Altaria because you know everything. Moonblaster power jump. Moonblaster stab. So that's probably better. Although I don't think is Altaria a fairy type in this game. Nope, it is not. It just has pixel pixelate. There goes your special attack. Citrus Berry. Good for you. Everything you do is... King's Rock come through! That was nasty, man. I'm sorry. That was... Just, my face just went... Eah. I think I might record the finale today as well, depending on timing. Because I'm in this now, man. Like, I don't think there's... There's no going back. I could stay in. But that's not a smart idea. So I'm gonna switch, and then we're gonna like, I don't know how I deal with this guard chomp anymore. I'm just gonna say that right now. No clue how I'm dealing with this guard chomp. I expect that you're not doing a ton to me, Noivern. You tried to go for Super Fang, and that fucked you, didn't it? You're stupid. Don't go over dumb strats. Okay, do I live with guard chomps? Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm faster than guard chomp, actually, so. I said this last time and it caused my Hoopa to die. I really hope this doesn't happen to me again. You know, if I can get lucky and it misses the Stone Edge, I'd be really happy. Oh, I'm all faster. This is basically just dead Garchomp. I don't care how bulky Mega Garchomp is. It is not living. It is not living one of those. Dude, that, this is like a, what, an 18 minute video? Bruh! I think, I think we're gonna go on and in, I'm gonna keep recording and do the, the finale today. That, that's wild. Oh, you're too much. You and your Pokemon are simply charming. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. I think I always fought her last. Oh, you're going already. Farewell then. You have beaten all of the Elite Four. This is just wonderful for you. Congratulations. I was a lot more scared than I should have been. I had to be because, to be honest, this wasn't that bad. But that's probably because I was scared, so I leveled up and was like, oh, we're gonna get ready for this. No, we're fine. Okay, so the issue is Diana is indeed a double battle with a lot of psychic and fairy types. She's got Mega Gardevoir, which if you guys don't know, is the strongest Mega ever to exist. Um, with Psy Strike, Fake Out, Stealth Rock, and Charm. The fuck? Um, and she's got 
Mega Gardevoir. That being said, her only stab fairy type move is Fake Out. Um, she's got Gothitel with Night Days, Thunderbolt. Oh, which means if she sends those two out, you're not switching, basically. So we got to make a smart decision about who we lead in with. Uh, this Gothitelle is Night Days, Thunderbolt, Psy Shock, Psychic, and Reflect. Then she's got like a Dragonite, which I can actually deal with. The Fable is a questionable because it is indeed a fairy type. And I don't have... Do I... Po okay, who can learn Poison Jab? Literally only Garchomp. Sword Stance is important. But I need Poison Jab as well. Do I need Cruncher? Crunch might come in handy. What type is Gothitelle? It's Dark type, right? Because if it's Dark type, there's no point. No! I don't want to answer the phone! It's Dark type. It's a Dark type. Okay, cool. Uh, so basically, Crunch is un unneeded. Which means now I have an answer for Clefable. Though I don't think I'll be like optionally staying in too often. How do I deal with the Mega Gardevoir? It's a Psychic fairy type which means it's resistant to dark it's only weak to steel do i have any steel type move in my bag don't think i do i just want to say that power punch surf acrobatics fly grass not thunderbolt sword dance doesn't even come mine brick break waterfall ice beam earthquake and rock smash okay so i'm gonna have to brute force through this gardevoir is what i basically what i figured out which is good boomy is gonna go in first easily Thunderbolt is annoying, but I can deal. So I'm gonna bring Raw, because he's special attacking. And it has a bug type move, so we can just get rid of that Gothitel immediately. That's, that's the play! Everything after that, we're gonna be fine. I didn't wrap up this video, did I? Ha! Okay, guys. I almost did that like we're ending the video. We just, we're starting a video. No, 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 no. If you guys did enjoy this match, is two matches, please click the like button down below to support the channel and the series a lot. Don't be afraid to subscribe to the Crystal Crew. We're always welcome more members. And if you did enjoy, make sure you share it to your friends, people who you think like Pokemon and would love to see more of this content because it's nice for me to know. Let me know how I can do better in the comment section down below. And as always, guys, I will see you, you, and you in the next video. See you then, guys.